Alright guys, so in this video today I'm going to be showing you one of the best rune farms for endgame in Elden Ring and also a new game plus. So going ahead and getting started in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Alright, so I did this so that way we can start the video off as zero runes and let's get this thing started now. So, rune farm you'll want to acquire the sacred relic sword. In order to get the sacred relic sword you need to defeat the elden beast. I'll show you here on the map. I'm sure most of you already know, but the Elden Beast right here at the Golden Tree in about the center of the map. You spawn in uh, the Elden Throne and go into the tree. It's the one of the I think it's the final boss in Elden Ring before you go on to New Game Plus. It's how you beat the game pretty much. This is why this is an end game uh, rune farm. Or a new game plus rune farm. But right here. And after you defeat the Elden Beast, you will acquire the Sacred Relic Sword. Now we go into the equipment here. Right there's Sacred Relic Sword. I have it at plus 9, not plus 10. So actually, this isn't quite accurate. You could actually pro potentially get more runes. I'm not sure if it at plus 10, but plus 9 will work just as fine. Alright, so once you have that equipped, you just want to head on over here, and oh yeah, by the way, I'm at the Palace Approach Ledge Road, right here in the underground, Sephoria River, right there on the map. I'm sure you all know this place as the Bird Farm over here. But that's not what we're going to be doing today. What we're going to be doing today is you just want to run on over to this little ledge right here. See, there's a message on the ground, but you want to be about right here. And you just look this way, and you just use the sword. Bada boom, you run up here, and you stand about right here, and you do a second swipe. And then right there, as you can see, I got 42,000 runes just from swinging the sword twice in almost no time. That is really effective runes right there. You just come over, sit at the side of grace, and you can do it all over again. Bada boom, there you have it. Another 42,000 runes. Actually, I think I got more that time. So, you get... I'm gonna say you can get up to like 50,000 runes just doing it the normal way. Um, per time, I believe I have... Yes, that is with the Golden Scarab equipped. Now, if you use a... Golden Pickled Fell Foot with the Golden Scarab. I'm going to go ahead and show you by jumping off here once again.
All right, so you have it, guys. Just from one foot, I got 378,000 runes, and it also has only been about three minutes, I believe. So that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. I feel like you could probably hit a million in like five minutes if you do it well enough, but I'm gonna see how long it takes me to hit a million. Alright, so there you have it guys. I've gotten a little over a million runes and it has only been about... Actually, it's been about 10 minutes-ish, but I also took breaks in between. But regardless, uh, that was... It took me three pickled feet to get to that many runes. And that's with the Golden Scarab equipped. But with the Golden Scarab... And the pickled foot equipped, you get about, you get at least 50,000 runes every single time you do this in between resting at the side of grace. And that is a lot more efficient than only getting 17,000 runes from the bird each time. 50,000 runes from each time. That's pretty good, guys. So, I highly recommend doing this rune farm. It'll help you acquire a lot more runes for end game plus and new game plus to get those extra levels and anything else that you might need going into new game plus. So, I hope this helped you out, guys. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more content. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.